<laughs> nice fish, huh? There you go. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we made it back, as per usual, it's not going to be a catch and cook, it's going to be, well I've already caught the fish, but I'm going to show you how to slice this up, fillet it, it's a trevally, silver trevally, commonly known as skippy, and I'm going to be using some really sharp knives from Japan, there you go, it's another gift from my brother the other day, I haven't done this before but I've done some research and I'm going to do this in sashimi. So right, stay tuned and uh, enjoy. Here we go. A half really head. I'm going to take my time. It doesn't feel like stuff. It's probably a big skippy. Okay, that's it. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. But that's a decent sized skippy. <laughs> All right. Woo, it made a bit of a noise. That's a perler. I'm happy. That's a pity. <laughs> okay, so I've scaled it and gutted it and gave it a good clean and, and a rinse with fresh water. Now, just like any fish to, to fill it, get behind here, give it a nice cut. There you go. All the way down there. What we're going to do over here, just going to Cut it slightly like that. In fact, I saw something where the bloke has actually taken this this back bit here. I just cut that there. And what I'll do, I'll cut it along here. Just a little incision. There we go. So we'll start from here. Cut all the way to the to the backbone. Now I'll come around this side here. What we do here now, oh that's good. Should cut through the, the ribs. That's nice. one nice skippy fillet, trevally fillet. That aside, and do the other side. Okay, you can cut the head, might be easier. The side. Okay, so we do the same. something later on. What I'm going to do is get rid of the, uh, the rib cage. Now, I've already pried it open a little bit. It's a matter of carving it out of the cavity and you should get it in one piece. There you go. Actually I'll do it this way. We've still got the cinder bone. What you do before I do that, a bit of check, there are no ribs. Right, so the centre bit, I cut all the way right across the fillet. No bones here, the bones on this side. So, what I do now, do another incision, slice it, and this way here, he actually gets rid of the bloodline. 
plus the Cinnabones. There you go. There's your Silver Trevelli fillet. I still need to skin it, which I'll be doing right now. Grab the skin. to serve this up I'm not professional but I'm using this big bertha <coughs> okay so I put these aside now I prefer them thinly cut here so we're going to serve up fish okay. curl it around a bit get a bit fancy And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some some salt and I'm actually going to put a little bit of soy sauce just over here and I'll just dip into that there you have it it's a shimmy silver trevelli dom style <laughs> A bit of red onion around him as a garnish. Alright, I can't wait. Alright, I don't know what I got myself into. Got these chopsticks to make it all authentic. Now I'm going to grab a piece without the soy sauce. There we go. Not bad. Um, if you like raw fish, got a very ocean flavor to it it's okay it's a uh, texture I'm actually glad I put in that salt because I had a piece before we had any salt it'll taste a bit bland but with the salt yeah it's got um, some sort of texture to your mouth it's kind of very hard to explain it's quite nice I'm gonna try some of the soy sauce a bit of onion hmm that's nice by itself you might like it, I'm a bit, mm. the soy sauce and the onion and the salt, spot on. How do you do these things? Mm. In your head you've got to forget this raw fish. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's nice. Now I don't know how you say bon appetit in Japanese, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Dom Appetit. See you next time, take it easy. Raw fish. Fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taco man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taco man.